Welcome back to another episode of Georgia Forge's The Digital Series. My name is Dr. Lisa Baxter and I'm your University of Georgia State Forage Extension Specialist. Today we are learning how to growth stage winter annual small grain forages. Many forage producers in Georgia will oversee their warm season grass fields or crop fields with small grains to provide a high quality winter forage for their cattle. Rye, oats, wheat, and triticale are the most popular small grains we use for grazing, silage, and baleage production. One of the most popular questions I am receiving right now is why won't my whatever small grain you're growing regrow? There are several possible reasons for this, but the most common are related to harvest height and forage maturity. Both must be at the optimum for regrowth to occur. Just like our summer crops, winter small grains have an optimum cutting height for potential regrowth. We recommend harvesting small grains at a minimum of three to four inches if regrowth is desired. This is higher than most producers have their mower set to cut, although adjusting the height is a simple procedure for most hay mowers. We have to cut small grains at a greater height to protect their growing point or the bundle of apical cells in the marisim where new growth originates. If the growing point is removed, the grass will not regrow. The other major factor is the stage of maturity at harvest. Determining the growth stage of a small grain can be a challenge. There are several different scoring systems out there, but the actual numbered score is not as important as understanding the physiological stage that the plant has reached. Many grazing recommendations are based on the height of the forage, but it does not necessarily correlate to growth stage. You will want to start by collecting 10 to 20 stems from various locations around the field. Use a knife or a pair of scissors to cut the stems off at the soil surface. Move to a solid surface such as a table or truck tailgate and use a sharp knife or razor blade to cut the stem in half. It's usually easiest to start at the base of the stem and work up, but do whatever is most comfortable for you and gives you the cleanest cut. Now let's walk through a few examples of different growth stages in small grains. The first plant is only about six inches tall. You may be tempted to start grazing near this point, but the roots may not be well established and the animals may pull the plants out of the ground especially in a sandier soil. Cattle can start grazing when the forage stems start exhibiting vertical growth and elongation. It is still important not to graze below three inches to allow for regrowth. You should graze cautiously if you can detect nodes on the stem. Sometimes this is referred to as joining or first hollow stem. When you cut into the stem, you will find that the lowest section is hollow, sort of like a plastic straw. This indicates that stem extension and vertical movement of the growing point. In this example, you will see the cells have divided and were beginning to look like a wheat seed head. Now notice the differences in the stem at the top and bottom of this stem. The top part of the plant is more immature and the next section of the stem, the seed head will pass through. The bottom part is referred to as the hollow stem since there is a cavity left from the seed head movement. Again, the grass will not regrow if this growing point or seed head is removed. If you are trying to harvest for baleage or silage, you might not be interested in regrowth and are aiming to harvest at a more mature stage, such as the boot stage. If this is the goal, we would need to first check the stems for an extended flag leaf indicated by the visible ligule. If the plant is in boot stage, the immature seed head will be visible in the leaf sheath just below the flag leaf. Forage quality will often decline once the seed head fully emerges and the grains begin to mature. For more information on managing winter annual forages, please visit our website or YouTube channel.